Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas everybody, back again with another video in the Spigot series. Uh, today's Christmas and I just made a Christmas plugin over the fat the past few days in my streams, so I just want to show you how to make the plugin. It's a pretty cool plugin, it allows you to make Christmas presents for you to give to your friends and they can open them and uh, as a cool little animation type thing. So yeah, let me show you. So the base command is slash present and that's how you can create a present if you don't specify a name and a message. And so this just has a few buttons here, and what I want you to do is put some presents uh, items inside of the thing here, and then when you're done, you click create presents. But we don't have any items, so let's get some items. Um, so let's say we want to give our friends some items, like some netherite tools, some food, because they're hungry maybe, uh, some TNT, and of course we need some diamonds. Everybody loves diamonds, right? So yeah, this is the present that we'll give our friends for Christmas. So to give our friend a present, we'll do slash present. And then that'll open up. And now we can put the items into our thing here. Although it doesn't let me click this for some reason. I just need to fix that. But we'll figure that out as we're coding. And yeah, so you put the presents inside the thing here, the GUI. And then you click create present when you're done. And that's going to package the present for you. And then give it to you in the uh, inventory. So you can do... E and it says present from Cody Simpson and then as you can see because it's Christmas uh, Mojang has changed the regular chest uh, skin to a Christmas present skin which is pretty cool um, so yeah once you give it to your friend once you give it to them they can put it down or you can put it on yourself and your friend can try to open it so when they open it they just right click it and it says Merry Christmas a Christmas tree floats up and then it explodes and then the, the items shoot out and they can pick up their items so it's a pretty simple thing um, only the person who you specify as the recipient of this present can open the present, but in this case we did not specify recipients when we were creating the present, so it's not going to uh, limit anyone from opening it. So if you do want to specify a recipient for your present when you're creating it, you can do slash present and then give the name. So we can say, uh, my other account is not on right now, but we can do Cody Simpson 999 and that will create a, a little tag here and it says to Cody Simpson 999 so you know who it's for. And then you can put the items inside the present again, like you did a second ago. And then uh, you, create, you click create present and it's going to give you the present. And it says present from Cody Simpson 999 to Cody Simpson 999, which just happens to be the same person myself. And so I put the present down and that can open it like I just did a second ago. And then the animation happens. So pretty cool. So let me get my, let me get my other account on real quick so I can show you what happens when you give it to another person. All right, here I'm joining my server. Let's try and test it out. So what I'm going to do here is let's first clear our inventory. This is this is just what I was doing when I was testing. So let me teleport to my other account. And what I'm going to do is create a present on that other account and then give it to my other account. Um, so let me get rid of this. And so we're going to do slash present and then we can give um, we can specify the name of who we want to give it to. So Illuminati is my other account. Press enter and now it says to Illuminati. And so if we can put the items inside, click create present. And then it says present from Cody Simpson 999 to Illuminati. So if I put this down, I could give it to them. They can put it down or I could put it down. So if I put this down here, um, if I try and open it, it's not going to work. It says you are not the recipients of this present. Keep trying and you'll end up on the naughty list. Okay. So um, and that, ma that makes sense, of course, because you wouldn't want to open someone else's present. That's just messed up, right? So my other account is the recipients of this present. So if he tries to open it by right clicking, it says Merry Christmas and the present opens for him to see. Cool, so there he can pick up his items now. So yeah, very simple. And the last thing I added was a message feature. So if you wanna, let's say that you um, get a present for Christmas, sometimes maybe you'll also get a card for Christmas, like from your grandparents saying, we love you, Merry Christmas and all that. Uh, so you can specify a Christmas message whenever you're creating the present as well. So let's try that. So we'll do slash present. And so the first parameter is still the name of who you want to give it to. And so if you want to specify a message, you also need to specify a recipient. Otherwise, you can't specify a message. So let's say we want to give it to our other account. We'll do Cody Simpson 999. And then we can put a message. So we can say, I love your mom's eyeballs. So that's our message. And so slash present Cody Simpson 999, I love your mom's eyeballs. So that'll be the message. And then it opens up here and it says to Cody Simpson 999, the recipient. And then it says, I love your mom's eyeballs. And then we can put the items in there that we want to specify in the present or give in the present. Click create present and it's going to create the present. And it says present from Illuminati to Cody Simpson 999. So let's put this down for him to open. Well, let's actually, let's give it to him. He can put it down himself. So he'll pick it up. He'll put it down. 
He'll try and open it, and now it says, Merry Christmas, and it says the message right there, I love your mom's eyeballs. So, uh, just another quick little feature you can add to that. And I was also thinking about adding a, um, a way for you to give money in the present. That's another thing you could try doing yourself if you want to. I did not do that, but it would be pretty simple. All you would need to do is use Vault. Um, we've used Vault in the series before. So you just gotta uh, install Vault as a dependency and then you can use um, that to give uh, the person money. So you, just, you can specify how much money you want to give them in the parameter as you're doing for the other parameters, okay? Anyway, so that's it for our little Christmas uh, plugin here. Like I said, we made this in the streams that I've been doing on Twitch. Um, I might start doing more streams on YouTube again in case you're curious of that. Besides that, I hope you enjoyed this plugin that we're going to make in the next episode. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I thank you for all of your support over the past uh, couple years. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. And peace.